trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point try now for Dawson. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken near the 13. Then he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. The first down throw for Young. Oh, he's able to out muscle him here as he pulls it in. And he's going to have this down deep into Oakland territory. A big play there for the Niners. 52 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Here's Moster. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Moster with his second touchdown of the night as his guys are back within a single score. Well, that was a quick hitter drive. They had the huge play to get him down near the goal line, and then they run it in. I don't know that the defense ever had a chance to catch their breath. A lot of the time now, when we see people hit big plays, and each team defines a big play their own way, 10, 15-yard gains. In this case, it was a huge gain. They often want to hurry up and go right away. Keep the momentum going, hit them again, and I think we just saw that there. The second play resulted in pay dirt. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Field now, here's Osweiler. He sets to fire deep. He's got it at the 15. It's a gain of 35. Now, we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go band of brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Here's Osweiler. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. 
Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Dawson tacks on the point after, and the lead now up to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Steve Young in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 56 to go. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns and they need them in short order. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Steve Young, and that is incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Ready? 18, Gator. From the shotgun, it's Young. He's going to let it fly. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Here's Steve Young. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. To throw once more on second and 10. Young looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, and it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Looking to throw, Young. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. A try here for the extra point. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Time definitely of the essence now. Just under a minute to play, and here we go. And it's the Raiders that will come up with it. And that will put victory in sight for the silver and black. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Got it. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run. It's Rodgers. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Oh, Osweiler going to throw it. And this will be caught at the 30. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player, watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. Pickup of eight, second and two. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Another carry now for Rodgers. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Now a carry for the fullback. This is Tommy Bohanna. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Now Dawson for the extra point. The lead is up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 